Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, Johnny Depp is not going to be in Pirates of the Caribbean 6. Well, we already knew that, but he says he won't, and I can't blame him. Yeah, I can't blame him either. It sounds like he is not real happy with Disney at this point. There were rumors that Disney had apologized to him before, but he's basically like, yeah, even if they come knock in, you know, if they give me millions and hundreds of millions of dollars, I will never do another Pirates movie. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, but... I believe him. I wouldn't either. I'd be so sick of this shit. I wouldn't do it either. Yeah, he said Disney was basically hanging back until it was safe. Right, basically, because they still used his likeness and everything else and sold merch with him on it and all that. So they didn't, they weren't so offended and didn't believe the, the what Amber Heard said so much that they removed him completely. Yeah, we talked about we talked about that before that uh, supposedly they were canceling Gina Carano action figures and all that, but uh, Jack Sparrow toys, yeah, they were still selling them. Uh -huh. um, we'll we'll talk about this. We're going to talk a little bit about the Amber Heard uh, Johnny Depp situation. Now, I want to be very clear: we are not an Amber Heard Johnny Depp channel. Mm -hmm. There are lots of people out there that have been covering this every day. Um, and they so, know a lot more about it than we do. Yeah, so I'm not even going to pretend to know all the details. Because we don't. We don't. Uh, but it does seem like public opinion is starting to sway a little more toward Johnny Depp's side of things. I know um, on Facebook, I'm on a lot of groups with like women and mom groups and stuff. And a lot of them are posting like justice for Johnny and stuff like that. And I was kind of surprised. But then a lot of them were also surprised about Amber Heard shitting in the bed. And I'm like, where have you been? Well, not on YouTube. I think I think a lot of the stuff that YouTubers have been talking about for the last couple of years is starting to come out now. Uh, now the normies are starting to catch on to the situation. And you know, regardless of how it plays out, I think Amber Heard's career, the public opinion of her is, is definitely going to be damaged. Um, I don't know if Johnny Depp is going to come out this much better either because there are some video clips of him like slamming cabinets and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but they said that what happened was like, you know, he got up in the morning and they had fought the night before. And then yeah. she's like, well, I said I was sorry. And he's like, you know, slamming cabinets because he's, you know, we don't know what Sick was said. Her. She only recorded the part that looked good for her. Sick of her shit in the right. bed, which right. the general public didn't know about, and now that's come out too. Yeah, people so. are like, ew. People are like, I didn't like really care too much. I read that, and I was like, wow, she nuts. Yeah, so we'll <laughs> we'll talk about this. You know, this this is definitely going to do some damage, I think, to some careers. And I, you know, again, the big issue people have with this is Johnny Depp was basically blacklisted, but Amber Heard had no right. career you know, uh, repercussion at all. Yeah. Nothing. That's like, the issue. It's like, if you're going to say that abusing people and that is bad and that, you know, hitting people and all that stuff is bad, but you say one person did and the other person's completely innocent, even though there's evidence against them as well, they should be treated the same, even though it doesn't, I don't think he actually hit her, but you know. Yeah. Now she admitted, I guess she hit him. I mean, this whole thing is a mess. Again, other channels, there are lots of them out there cover the blow by blow, no pun intended, uh, of the Amber Heard Johnny Depp drama. Uh, we're going to weigh on this from the Disney side of things mostly. And he's basically confirming on the stand under oath that he's not going to do any more Pirates movies. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see what happens. So anyway, before we get into it any further. Too late. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 264,000 subs. Uh, more subs than CNN Plus got. Uh huh. So we've got that. We're yeah, more... we got, you're going you're gonna to use that forever. I am. You? I'm going to be like, we're more popular than CNN Plus. Mm -hmm. uh, literally everybody is more popular than CNN Plus. But uh, anyway, Johnny Depp says he would not want to return to Disney for Pirates of the Caribbean. He didn't really slam them but he basically was like yeah they're still selling action figures of me and uh he's like i, I hadn't heard that they basically canceled me there are rumors that they weren't going to hire mm -hmm. him of course he got fired from fantastic beasts yes and then but that was warner yeah and and amber heard got to stay yeah, that so, that's the thing. If it was enforced, like yeah, we're we're pulling Johnny Depp out of movies and we're pulling Amber Heard out of Aquaman too, people might not have had a fit. But it does look very uh, biased. It does. So basically, there was they were talking. It was actually from Variety mm -hmm. um, that this article came from, and they were talking about you know what was going on in regards to Disney Pirates of the Caribbean. Now I still love that Heard's lawyer's name is Ben Rottenborn. That sounds like an RPG villain. I told Squid King, and that's kind of what he said. He's yeah. like, oh, my God, that doesn't even sound real. Um, and I had to make the joke, because I don't know if you've seen the TikTok video where someone put together where every time he tried to talk, the, 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 her lawyer's like, hearsay, 
Hearsay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's hearsay. So yeah. I was like, but then everything she would say was hearsay. Yeah. So I'm like, really? That's what you're going to, that's how you're going to play this? Anyway, um, her lawyer was like, but according to the Daily Mail, you were already out of pirates. And, and then here's a clip, a clip of the article. And Depp's like, well, I wasn't aware of that. You know, because you know, if it's in a, if it's in print or on the internet, it has to be true. The Daily Mail. So let me get this straight. I, I won't be clear here. Because That's not hearsay. Yeah, the Daily <laughs> Mail is a tabloid. We get people dunking on us all the time for citing Daily Mail articles, but but Heard's lawyer can use it right. in trial. It's not hearsay. It's been a rumor. Um, I don't think Disney has confirmed or denied. Now they are moving forward with another Pirates movie that that doesn't have him in it. Um, probably just to cover all the bases. I think what they're doing is they're hanging back to be like, we'll see how the trial goes. Well, now he's like, I'm not doing it. No yeah, he's what. not doing it. Yeah. I wouldn't either. I'd be like, no, I wouldn't either. Piss off. How much money did I make you? Piss yeah, exactly. Off. And he said, uh, he wasn't aware of that, but it doesn't surprise me. Two years had gone by of constant worldwide talk about m me being a wife beater. Mm -hmm. I, so I'm sure that Disney was trying to cut ties to be safe. The Me Too movement was in full swing at that point, And we've seen how that's gone. You know, with the the women's groups and stuff, and then there was embezzlement and all the other shit. Yeah, right. And they, and people that were wanting help weren't getting the help. Right. That instead, was going to fancy parties and things. Imagine celebrity that celebrity gala. Right. And, yeah. So you know, and then he brings up the fact that you know Disney still used him on all their stuff. That they really yep. felt strongly that he did these things. Yeah. Why didn't they take him off of it? Uh, yeah, I think Disney was just kind of trying to play it down the middle because Jack Sparrow merch sells well. It does. Um, people love the character. They identify the character with pirates. Uh, you know, half the merch at the ride now, the gift shop, is Jack Sparrow. And Jack Sparrow's in the ride now. They changed yeah. it to Adam. Yeah. So they didn't remove my character from the rides. They didn't stop selling dolls of Captain Jack Sparrow. Yep. They didn't stop selling anything. They just didn't want there to be something trailing behind me that they'd find. Right, right. Right. So, I mean, D Disney didn't did, wasn't so convicted about his guilt that they, they pulled all that. Yeah. Um, now, here's, here's the thing that I, I think, again, I am not a lawyer. Uh, we have not been following this very closely. But if I were his lawyer, I'd be like, ooh, I really wish you didn't say that. He basically... I know, I wondered that too. Yeah, he basically said to Amber Heard's lawyer that he wouldn't work on pirate. So the whole, yes. point, the whole purpose of this trial mm -hmm. is to show that Amber Heard cost him jobs. Right. And he's saying, well, I wasn't going to go do another Pirates movie anyway. Exactly. I thought that was weird, too. I was like, you just kind of handed them something there. Yeah. In he, my opinion. Yeah. I would be like, dude, no. If Disney asked you absolutely want to go back and do another Pirates movie, because the whole purpose is you're trying to prove that she is keeping you from doing mm. another Pirates movie, and you just said... Yes. No, I'm not going to do it anyway. Because here's what happened. The lawyer said, the fact is, Mr. Depp, if Disney came to you with $300 million and a million alpacas, nothing on this earth would get you to go back and work with Disney on Pirates of the Caribbean film, correct? And he said, that is true. So, yeah, I thought that was, I was like, dude. I. Uh, he's honest. At least he's being I mean, honest. And then, you know, this makes him look more credible because he knows it could hurt him, but he's being, being honest. Yeah. It, but is it going to be used against him? Oh, absolutely. Because they're going to say, well. She didn't cost you a job because you weren't going to take that job anyway. There is, you know? okay, if someone says it doesn't cost jobs, then they they have their heads so far up their ass. It's ridiculous. Well, just show Fantastic Beasts. I mean, he got ousted from Fantastic Beasts. That you know, there's yes. some other movies that I guess got pulled. Um, and but then she got to go do what she wanted to. do. She had no repercussions yeah. for yeah. what you know for the allegations against her. And then the, the point is, at the end of the day, it's all allegations yeah. on both sides. But yet, there's a double standard. On how things were handled. And you want to bring up, can you real quick bring up that one thing I had sent you? This, yes. And I saw this and I sent it to Neon because I think it's 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 the truth. And I've, I've talked at length about um, how I don't think it's evenly handled with men and women. And the male, men get abused all the time and everybody just like kind of, you know, steps over it. Like, oh, well, you're a dude. So it's not the same thing. But it is the same thing. There's just as many... Repercussions, just as many, many mental issues, just as many, you know, insecurities and things that can come to a man for being abused as a woman. In fact, more so, I, I would argue, because they feel like a, a, a wuss and a weakling on top of it. Yeah, a lot of times men won't come out and say that they're they're being abused because they don't want to look like they're they're weak. weak. You know, because toxic masculinity, you're you're basically well, supposed to be the strong one in the relationship. And, was it like know. Dr. Phil or something that the one guy was coming out talking about how he was abused and people were making fun of him for being a wuss? And I'm like, that's why he didn't come out and talk about it. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys can be assaulted and they don't come out and talk. Because usually it's like if a guy comes out and says, hey, well, that's what happened with uh, was a Brendan Fraser mm -hmm. said that he was he was assaulted or whatever. And then he wasn't getting gigs for a while over yeah. it. It's like, oh, what a wuss. He's a guy. You should like that, you know, kind yeah. of attitude. Yeah, it's like, it's why like, would you, you know? I mean, any more than a woman would. But I saw this, and I, I thought this was very, you know, on point. Do you want to read it? Do you want me to read you it? You can read it. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will I will read the a woman part, and you can read the a man part. There's a man part? Yes. Okay. See, a woman and a man. Okay. Here's what we've learned. Now, this, is, this was shared from somebody else, and they do put the National Abuse Hotline number at the top, which is 1-800-799-7233. So if you need that, there it is. Um, so here's what we've learned throughout the trial. Women can verbally assault men in front of everyone, and it's perfectly fine. A woman can relieve herself on a man's pillow and laugh with her friends about it. That's fine. A woman can cut off a man's fingertip in a heated argument, and no one bats an eye. A woman can demand money in a civil setting and claim it's for donation purposes and keep it, and all's right in the world. Because remember, she kept saying she gave out money to children's hospitals or whatever it was. Yeah, didn't he actually and give he's the, the one, money? Yes. He and, made good on her promises, yeah. Mm -hmm. A woman can gaslight a man into believing horrible things about himself that are not true. A woman can smirk and laugh during court proceedings while a man is forced to, to relive horrible experiences. A woman can talk poorly about a man's kids. A woman can put makeup and fingernail polish on her and the law will pass it off as bruises and blood. Yeah. I'll let you talk now. A man can be trauma bonded in the submission. Okay. A man can love hard and be fearful of failure and force himself to stay. A man can battle addictions, but like everyone else, cannot do it alone. A man can lose his career over allegations, but a woman with the same keeps her job. That actually is true. We've seen that in multiple, mm -hmm. multiple cases over the last couple of years, not just Johnny Depp, but other, other people too. A man is not allowed to defend himself in court without harassment. A man is not allowed to have a fair trial because the judge backs the woman. That was true in the UK trial. Uh, a man is judged because he worries how the accusations will affect his children, family, etc. Yeah, a lot of people, I mean, he's a celebrity, but a lot of people probably wouldn't have even come forward because they would have been afraid that their kids would have been That's what he said or, he was worried about. Uh, a man can be a victim of abuse and domestic violence. Yes. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I agree. And I've, I've said this so many times on this channel, if you watch our videos, I have a son and a daughter and I would, I don't want them treated differently, but I don't think that my son can't be abused and my daughter can or vice versa. I yeah. mean, abuse is shit and shouldn't happen anyway. It's as bad as what Amber Heard left in the bed. <laughs> yeah. Again, you know, public opinion seems to be changing a little bit. I mean, again, if you go out to the mainstream media outlets, it's all... Johnny Depp, oh my God, he slammed cupboards. That means he probably punched Amber Heard in the face. Well, he maybe he was slamming the cupboards so he wouldn't hit her. Yeah, that could be too. Kind, kind of like Will Smith slapping uh, Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. You're probably thinking, I wish you were Jada. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really wish you were Jada. I there was a video on that later. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the media is going to be like, well, this proves it. He obviously did because he, he's got a temper. And I love it too. They're like, well, because he had texts. Well, so did she, for one. And two, of course, and someone's talking to their friend about how tired they are. So now I never would say some of the stuff that was in the text, but it doesn't mean that he actually hit her or did anything. So, um, you know, they said the sympathy is not surprising amid herd inconsistencies. Said lawyer, a lot of people watching this on TV now. Yeah, it's televised. Um, and they're starting to flip flop. I've actually seen people on Twitter be like, I was totally against Johnny Depp, but now that I'm hearing his side of things, and kind of seeing... Oh, you mean like the media only running one side? Right, right. They're Shocker, like, right? I'm actually coming around to uh, this situation. Now, the whole situation is dysfunctional as hell. I mean, it's... Well, it's it is. A I mean, mess. it is. It is. I mean, every, there, I think, yeah. I mean, this was never going to work. It was a toxic, toxic relationship on both sides, I think. But she especially. I love the fact that people are like, wow, wow, he's just a good actor. Well, yes, she's an actor too. But I guess... I guess I understand where you're coming from because he's actually a good one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, there, there are all kinds of uh, posts coming out now and, and people on social media saying, you know, you're not going to hear from the mainstream media, but a lot of people kind of coming around to. Well, Newsweek's running it. Believing. Yeah. Well, Newsweek is, is a little more conservative-ish, I think. But uh, it's not just confined to YouTube now is basically what I'm trying to say. Because for the longest time, it was like. 
just YouTubers running with it and covering it uh, more objectively than. And the, a lot of the people mainstream. got so much shit for that. Oh my god, yeah. Like I know, like Tug and stuff was getting harassed oh, yeah, and everything yeah, else it's because insane. he was, you know, talking about this stuff, and they're like, "How dare you? How dare you?" But public opinion does definitely seem to be switching because, like I said on Facebook, I'm just like randomly looking around, and people are definitely siding with Johnny Depp more so than I'm seeing Amber Heard. At least on Facebook, I couldn't tell you about Twitter because I just don't do that that much because it's a dumpster fire of massive proportions. Yeah, so we'll see we'll see what happens. I mean, even if he clears his name, I think damage has has been done. And uh I And don't he's pulling think... Disney down right now too. Yeah. People are already pissed at Disney. Let's just throw some more fuel on that fire. Oh hell, yeah, there's no way in hell that Pirate Six without Johnny Depp is, is gonna Right. I, mean, I said that in the article. I'm like, you might as well stop now because just if stop. you just I mean if it's all women pirate stuff like you're talking, no one's gonna go watch it. No. They don't care. It's not Captain Jack. They don't give a shit. I mean, we had five Pirates movies. Only I would say only two of those movies were any good. And uh, I'll leave it up to you to decide which ones. But uh, only two of those movies were good. And people sat through them anyway just to watch him as Captain Jack. Because he was the best part. Yeah. Like, so. anytime he was on screen, even if it didn't make sense, it was entertaining. Even if the plot completely made no sense whatsoever... He was entertaining. People just watched two hours of him sitting there, you know, drinking rum and, you know, talking to a, a rock. And they'd probably be like, yeah, it's the best movie ever. Yep. There we go. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.